Nearly three years ago, a young boy named Jeff set out on his journey to become the champion of the Kalos region. He picked a baby Fennekin named Soliantu, who would soon join forces with a scatterbug named Vanua. Jaburu the Pidgey and Alinta the Fletchling then joined the team, and the original six would be topped off by a Bidoof named Ratana and a Lediba named Dara. These six made it quite far together, but five of them were weak to rock, and with Grant rapidly approaching, they feared it would be their end. With Rattana the Bee Barrel being the only Pokemon who could fight rock types, she was their only hope. But her and her partner Dara died inside of the gym. This would end up being their saving grace, as a legendary duo would join Jeff on his adventure. The legendary Binacle Baramundi and her partner LaFleur the Gloom. Together they saved the team from disaster by defeating Grant. Soliantu and Venua had fallen against Jeff's rival Serena inside of the Tower of Mastery right after. And then Nakam, a Dwebble, and Maku Maku, a Hippopotas, joined in their stead. This team together was incredibly strong. They beat Ramos, Clement, and Valerie without any issues at all. But that all had changed when they entered the Frost Cavern. Alinta the Talonflame was fighting a throw who survived her acrobatics and used Rock Slide, splitting up the bird duo once and for all. A Malamar named Nobag joined Jaburu, but it wouldn't be long until everything went downhill, beginning with a man named Lysander. True tragedy had struck. Makumaku, Maku, Nakam, Nobag, and even Jaburu, the final member of the original six, had died, leaving Jeff's barbarical Baramundi to take the torch and lead this team to the very end. And... She did. Jeff would go on to make his way to the Pokemon League, losing 11 more Pokemon in the process, including Baramundi's forever partner, LaFleur. A man named Sebold wiped out Jeff's remaining legacy and ending the legendary Baramundi's streak. At the time, this was my best and favorite series I had ever done, but the endgame going so horribly put a massive damper on what was looking like a great experience. I have always wanted to return to Kalos and try to get my revenge. So now, it's time. Jeff was unable to reach the final Tribal Council before Diantha, as Sebold blindsided him in a ridiculous fashion. But this girl has studied the legend of Baramundi. She knows everything Jeff did and went through and she isn't about to make the same mistakes. She's going to get revenge for Jeff and be the sole survivor. She's a queen, and she will stay queen, just like Baramundi unfortunately failed to do so long ago. Does this girl and her chestpin have what it takes, or will she meet the same fate that Jeff met nearly three years ago? Just one week from today, our brand new series will be premiering. It's Chroma's Pokemon X, No Healing, In Battle, Revenge, Wedlock. And it starts February 14th at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You are not going to want to miss out on this adventure. The first mystery egg of our Pokemon X, Revenge, Wedlock is going to be... Oh dear god, I have no idea and I'm really scared. <laughs> Please be good? Oh wow, okay. Okay, I think I could work with that. That's pretty cool, I'm happy with that. Like, that's not what I was expecting at all. <laughs> 